Well, <clears throat> last October, we had EXP Con in Las Vegas. And, and about five, six, seven days later, we lost one of our... Uh, <clears throat> we lost a dear friend of ours who we love and adore, and um, I decided to create, talk to Jean and Susan and James and my wife, and, and uh, I think I talked to you. I don't know if I asked your permission. <laughs> but, uh, I Forgiveness. Prob- All right, thank you. <laughs> to, to honor Rick, to create the Rick Jiha Award. <laughs> that we're going to give out every year for displaying some pretty cool attributes because he was, a, he was a, a life changer, a history maker, a globe trotter, all the good stuff. And so we, we have a short video we want you to see, and we're going to roll the video, and then we'll come back. It doesn't matter what the name on the building is and the office you walk into or whether you walk into an office at all. What matters is who have you chosen to surround yourself with. And what I've realized about my last 11 years of my life is that I've slowly but surely selected to surround myself with people who are more visionary than me, who have the traits I want to become more like and become the person that attracts more people like that around me, whether that's with the real estate company I'm with or the people I surround myself like you in the personal development world and and people who are willing to work on themselves and know that working on themselves is the only thing that's going to move you to where you want to be in your life. And that you don't have good habits or bad habits and you don't make right decisions and wrong decisions. You have habits that work or don't work for where you want to go and you have decisions that get you immediately to where you want to go or they get you to a point where you learn something that allows you to go where you want to go. You know, I mean, we all grew up with a saying, you learn, you, you know, you win some, you lose some. Instead, you take it now and you say, you win some, you learn some. You didn't lose anything because it's a divine path that you're on. And every time you hit something that feels like a wall, if you start to understand that that's God or the universe's message to you, that this is a learning moment because you will easily be able to go through that wall once you learn the lesson that was desired for you to learn at that point. This has been the most momentous thing that's happened in my life, is learning to trust myself so that I can trust others also. So when I hear about things that are exciting, I don't go blind and start saying, now my company's better or my way is better. I start to ask questions. You know, we, we have so many people in society who, and people that I know very well, who they're, they're just so committed to things staying the same. And, You know, what I've had to learn is I'm one of those. 69% of the United States and Canadian public tend to be people who want to resist change, who feel like change is the worst thing in the world. And yet change is the only constant in the world. And if we continue to resist, instead of resisting it, understand that if I put my arms around change and I walk carefully into it with my eyes wide open, amazing things can happen. So we, uh, we came up with this award, and, and there's uh, um, many attributes that explain who Rick was, what he was about, but we came up with uh, three words here. Let's bring them up. Number one, it was authenticity. We felt Rick was the real deal, so genuine. Anybody know Rick and how just sweet he was? And, and number two was, um, put it up there, I'm trying to blank, I'm freaking out. Optimism, optimism, super, I mean, you just saw him, optimistic is, is all get out. And number three was loving. He was, when you were with Rick, you just felt loved by him. You felt like you were the most important person in the room. And so uh, I just thought, you know, his legacy is going to live on. And so before we announced him, we actually looked at every single attendee that was here. We made a list of a few dozen people who really displayed these characteristics in a big way. You all do, but there were some people that jumped off the page, and there was one person who just, when I read the name, everybody screamed. 
And that was a group of us. And we're like, yes! So you're about to meet the person who's going to get the first award for this. You're going to start talking. It's your turn. <laughs> this is Casey G. Ha, Rick's wife. Uh, so I want to start off by saying that that Friday night when you drove to our house at 9 p.m. to come talk to Rick about EXP and his future and what was possible, that you changed our life that day. And And it put into motion a lot of incredible things that have happened since. And when James and I were talking yesterday, uh, and he was talking about the idea that you guys had for this award, he had tears in his eyes, and he said, I'm, I'm so excited to honor this man with this award and for every year after because of what he meant to us in our lives. Yeah. And so I am really grateful that this community and the heart and soul of this community and what it's meant for our family and what it continues to mean for our family. And for those of you that know Rick, you, you saw him speaking. That was during an interview. But I thought that really to set up the award, I'd share a private text that he sent to me that helps you to get an experience of those three traits and characteristics that really represent this award. This is from April of last year. He said... Um, He said, I think you know that I see things through rose-colored glasses. And maybe that's not always reality. And either way, it gets me through and allows me to have fun in my day and look forward to any and every meeting with the hopes that their life will be changed and ours will be better because of it. The future, I always envision, has a picture of us in our deck in Pacific Grove with our feet up, <clears throat> looking at the ocean, each holding a glass of wine in one hand and holding each other's hand with the other, and Bubba laying by us. We are at peace with ourselves and with the world. The R in my envisioning of the future stands for relationship. And those are the visions that I imagine <clears throat> we come to and keep those thoughts in my head regularly. I strive daily to be the man that I can be proud of when I look in the mirror, and more importantly, the man that you can love and hold the rest of your life. And so I'm so honored to be able to welcome to the stage the winner of the inaugural Rick Jiha Award, Shelly Johnson. Thank you so much. I don't deserve this. Um, I did not expect this at all. And what you all don't know is my mom was diagnosed with brain cancer on March 10th, and she died about five weeks ago. So this year has been the toughest year of my life, and I've tried to carry it with as much grace as possible. And Rick Jiha was, when Casey lost Rick, I just like lost my stomach. I was on a flight back, I remember. Lee Tessier reached out to me, and he said, we lost one of the greatest men alive today, 
and we had just left an event, and Rick had just greased me with a smile and a hug a few days before. So um, it's an honor to be here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I don't know what I did to deserve it, but I'll do my best to serve and continue to serve this great company and everyone in it, and we'll do my best ever. All right. Thank you, Shelly. All right. All right. Thank you.